Welcome to the April town hall meeting. My name is Dr. Matt Rhoda, Superintendent of the Community Schools of Frankfurt, and today I have with me Mr. Eric Farley. Uh, Mr. Farley is the Chief Academic Officer for the Community Schools of Frankfurt. Some of you may know him as uh, Mr. Blue Chips, as he has been referred to on the streets, uh, has uh, did a great job of putting the Blue Chips uh, whole reunion back together this January. So I'm excited to have Mr. Farley here today uh, so he can share with you some of the things he's been doing in his role as Chief Academic Officer. Eric, welcome today. Thank you, Dr. Rode. Appreciate it. One thing we want to, I want the public to be aware of, especially our, our high school parents for next year, uh, will be we applied for a flexibility waiver for our high school only with the state of Indiana that would if approved on May 8th, would allow our high school to start two hours late uh, once a week for the whole school year. Can you tell our viewers um, what that would look like and, and why we applied for that in the first place? Sure. Well, the state uh, allows us the opportunity for the waiver really to, I think, promote some uh, practices uh, that are innovative for schools. And typically those waivers uh, are associated with instructional minutes or instructional days being altered. Okay. Uh, Frankfurt High School and the rest of our schools go far above the instructional minutes that are required by the state. Mm. Um, so, but one of the things that our high school specifically doesn't have that our elementary and middle school has is really that built-in time for teacher collaboration mm -hmm. uh, to do what's called professional learning communities. Uh, this collaborative time and these meetings are associated with looking at student data and assessments and making adjustments within their daily instruction so we can really improve student outcomes. Now, how this, I, I would assume this will also help as our state is looking at uh, really redesigning our high school diploma. Yeah. How do you think this will help our teaching staff then um, help support and help drive student learning with our kids in that redesign? Yeah, really comes back down to the collaboration piece of opportunities that time is awarded to them to look and not just associated with their content area teachers, but extend beyond that. So our counselors within the building can use that time to touch base with teachers regarding those new requirements, have reflective plans based off of what we've done in the past and some things we need to adjust in the future in order to meet all the graduation requirements for our students. So really, really doing this to uh, align the high school with our elementary and middle school and the amount of time they have for for teacher collaboration and that teacher collaboration is meant to be able to support student learning. Absolutely. Okay, well great. And I'm sure our high school kids on those days probably won't mind coming to school a couple hours late. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they're going to get their brothers and sisters ready for school. Yep, I'm sure they will. <laughs> well, we're going to uh, take a break uh, and go to an episode that you all know of Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts and we will be right back after those facts. Welcome back to Farley's Fun Facts. For today's episode, I'd like to highlight our theater department here at Frankfurt High School. For the past 15 years, Frankfurt High School has produced over 30 musicals and plays. Michael Taylor, our theater director, just wrapped up Guys and Dolls. This was another outstanding performance put on by Michael and his students. One fact that is unique about our productions at Frankfurt High School is the involvement of our students throughout the performances. Unlike most school productions, our students are involved through every facet of the production. They are actors, producers, choreographers, technicians, construction workers, and set designers. It's an amazing opportunity for our students at Frankfurt High School as they continue to lead the way in their performances. The various performances of big broadcast and musicals continue to excel at Frankfurt High School. That's all for Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Have a great day, hot dogs. Yeah. All right, welcome back to our April town hall meeting. I have with me Mr. Eric Farley, Chief Academic Officer for the Community Schools of Frankfurt. On this segment of the town hall, uh, some of you may, may have heard that uh, we want to try a new calendar here in two years. We always prepare our calendar two years in advance. So next year, 24-25 is your typical calendar. But in 25-26, we are looking at a new calendar. And Mr. Farley, could you tell our viewers what that calendar looks like? It's called a balance calendar. Yep. And what that calendar looks like and why we're deciding to make a switch to that. 
Yeah, well, several reasons. One, well, the calendar looks like starting a little bit earlier, last week of July, um, and ending by the last week of May. So month of June would still be at time for summer mm -hmm. vacation and through the first three weeks of July. Um, it, typically, as you know, we start usually the first or second week of August and go through the third or fourth week of May. Um, what the balance counter will do differently, other than starting a little bit earlier, is your fall break, winter break, and your spring break will all be two weeks. Mm. So we've always had two weeks for Christmas break, but now we have that fall and spring break. I think that's important for students and important for teachers. Um, provides students a continuous learning cycle where the breaks are consistent throughout the school year. So. For example, you, you take a class that quarter, you have that two weeks off, you come back and take that, that next class, or if you're in elementary, looking at that next standard. Um, the other piece that it does is re relies or allows our teachers to become reflective practitioners. Uh -huh. So providing them the ability to take a look at those student data, determine if they need to make any adjustments to their instruction moving forward. Um, and lastly, uh, in a, we haven't decided upon this yet, but I think it allows us to do some um, immediate remediation in, during those intercessions that take place um, during those breaks. So instead of the summer school break where you have to shove everything in to do that remediation, you can do that consistent, consistently throughout the school year. Okay. Are we the only school in the state that uh, has ever done something like this before? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, with, with the state rolling out new things all the time, one in particular being a, a new assessment, um, you can certainly see the impact of the balanced calendar that takes place around the donut area or Indianapolis area of the state. Most of those schools are on balanced calendars. We do have some locally. There's a school in Lafayette that's on balanced calendar, for example. Um, and we want to make sure we're aligned to that so that we can ensure that our kids have the appropriate number of instructional days prior to taking those state assessments. So that's another reason, not not the only reason, but one of the reasons. As I know uh, in our viewers, the uh, iLearn, which we typically take at the end of the yep. year, well, really it's about a month from April 15th this year to May 10th, something like yep. that, about four weeks. Um, starting here next year, that test will be given three different times throughout the year. Is yep. that next year where that'll start or will that be in 25, 26? Next year's a pilot year for okay. it. The okay. following year it'll take place and you'll have those three windows where you're taking that, what we refer to as a formative assessment. You'll take three windows of testing and then you'll still have that summative at the end. So, okay, all right. Yeah. And and then the last question is, Mr. Farley, any, any big things coming up here? in the month of May for any of our schools that maybe our, our viewers might be uh, uh, interested in hearing about? Well, I think that graduation is one big thing yes, a lot of our seniors are interested in. Um, and, and I encourage people to, if you've never seen a graduation, if you're an aunt, uncle, come with grandma, grandpa, mom and dad to see it. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing to see our kids walking across the stage. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, there's there's, like you mentioned, the iLearn testing is taking place, but we also have uh, testing for our kids that are ha is happening in the month of May, which is important for us as we look to promote those students to the next grade level and um, ensuring that they're prepared and ready. And, and viewers sometimes think that, uh, uh, possibly think that our, our teachers in the summer, they've got the whole summer off. I know you just got a board approved summer calendar, which is yep. just for our staff to yeah. kind of outline what the summer looks like. What's going on this summer with our teacher trainings? Lots of training. Uh, we have training that when we look at the social emotional side of uh, and the mental health needs, uh, we have training associated with that this summer with a gentleman named Kevin Dill, mm -hmm. uh, helping our principals and, and schools develop systems for behavior. Um, but then there's also our curriculum in the summer. We're always looking at adjusting and revising our curriculum to ensure kids are getting what they need when, it, when we look at state standards yeah. and that we are teaching to the depth and complexity of those standards and ensuring that we have kids ready. All right. Well, thank so. you, Mr. Farley, for coming on to Town Hall today to share uh, possibly next year's flexibility waiver. We'll find out May 8th on that. And if we get approved for, uh, by that from the state, then I would assume that we will be communicating out to our parents at the high school to let them know about that. Absolutely. And then for the calendar the following year, we, we have some plans to get some uh, input from the community on the calendar as well. That would be for the 25-26 school year. And we'll do that sometime in August, September, or October next year. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Farley, for all that you do for the community schools of Frankfurt. Next month, I will have Mr. Richard Salee on the superintendent town hall to talk about all of the preparation. Mr. Farley just talked about graduation, all the preparation that goes into the graduation ceremony and how he 
and his uh, group of uh, uh, high school students uh, put all that together to really show a, a great high school graduation ceremony. So I'm looking forward to Mr. Salee coming on with me uh, next month. So thank you for tuning in today. And next up, Roaming with Rhoda. Thank you. You are on Roaming with Rhoda. What is your first name? Oh, I'm Miguel. And Miguel, uh, next year you have eighth graders coming here. They're going to be nervous about coming to Frankfurt High School. What would you tell them to make them a little less nervous coming here next year? Um, just be confident. Be confident. And do you remember when you were eighth grade coming into ninth grade, what, what helped you feel more comfortable when you got here to the high school? Um, the people around me. Okay. My friends. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Appreciate it. Okay. So, so they have some, what's one thing they can look forward to to make them a little less nervous coming here next year? Um, I mean, you know, when you get here, they let you get a fresh start. You know, they don't, they don't push it. Like, you know, they'll let you come in and get prepared for the future and, you know. Love it. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate you. We've got middle school kids coming over here next year to be freshmen and they're going to be a little nervous. What would you tell them to help them be a little less nervous? Um, get to know the teachers and get to know some of the upperclassmen so it makes it a little easier. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ramsey's, we've got eighth graders, going to be ninth graders next year, a little nervous coming over here when you got to come to high school. What's one thing that you would tell those eighth graders getting ready to come over here next year to help them be a little less nervous? Um, it's not the, as bad as you think it is, and the teachers will help you get around and everything. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Come on. You're on Roaming with Rhoda. What is your name? My name is Julian Luz, and I am a senior in Frankfurt High School. All right, Julian, you'll be perfect for this. You've got We've got eighth graders coming over here next year to be freshmen, and they're going to be a little nervous coming over here. What's one thing you'd tell them that will help them be a little less nervous as they come here next year? Uh, in my experience and my four experiences of being in high school, I say authenticity is probably the best key factor to, like, getting adjusted into, like, a new environment. Just be yourself and be who you are, and I feel like as you – as time goes on, people will just accept it and people will start to like you. I love that. Be who, be who you are. Don't have to be anyone else. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. We've got eighth graders coming over here to be freshmen next year. They're going to be a little nervous coming here to the high school. What's one thing you would tell them to make them a little less nervous? Uh, just go through with the flow, you know. I mean, being a freshman is hard, but, like, you soon uh, get used to it. You know, it's like middle school, but just a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, well, you just can't be nervous. There's a lot of good people here. You'll fit in well. Uh, teachers are really nice. They'll help you out. So there's nothing to be nervous about, really. And you look around these hallways. They're nice and calm, and people are getting in their lockers easily. So thank you very much. Yep. Colby Din, can you tell our viewers, you've got eighth graders coming over here as freshmen next year. They're going to be a little nervous. What would you tell them to help them be a little less nervous next year? Uh, I'll just say don't stress it. Everyone here is super nice. All the teachers are super forgiving and super nice. I mean, don't stress about it your first year, your freshman year. Just have fun. Get involved. Yeah, it's just have a good time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The eighth graders coming over as freshmen next year, they're going to be a little nervous coming here. What would you tell them to help them be a little less nervous? Uh, uh, come, a little, come a little bit closer here. Uh, just, uh, just like all the teachers are nice, and if you just do your work, you get good grades. All right. Thank you very much. You're Alden, and you've got eighth graders coming here next year. They're going to be a little nervous coming in as freshmen. What would you tell them so that they could be a little less nervous? Be good, stay out of drama, don't start problems, and respect your teachers. That is great advice. Thank you very much. And Ty, you've got eighth graders coming over as freshmen next year. They're going to be a little nervous. What's one thing you would tell them to help them be a little less nervous next year? You know, it's going to be hard, but you just got to persist. If you persist, you can do anything you put your mind to. Okay, thank you, Ty. Great advice. Thank you. Uh, what I would tell the eighth graders is to, like, whatever you have your mind to, like achieve your goals, don't let anything get in the way. Just enjoy it while you're here, you know, turn in your work, do what you need to do, but you know, of course have fun, do extracurriculars, you know. Um, the teachers are pretty nice, they're pretty chill. Uh, just do your work and you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Carolyn. Carolyn, and you've got eighth graders coming over next year, they're gonna be a little nervous. What would you tell them to help them be a little less nervous? 
um, I would tell them that teachers are nice and like don't be don't be scared and like be be a good student because it's it's your four years being in this school and you won't get to do anything and like have fun and enjoy your school year. All right. Thank you very much. Great advice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.